Hey, uh, soul family. All right, so I did all the prep work. I thought, like, you guys, I'm sure you know how to cut vegetables. However, when I make a marinated vegetable salad, I pre-blanch all my vegetables except for the cherry tomatoes, the cucumber, and the baby corns. But I even did the mushrooms. So everything is like, like a quick dip, two minutes in the hot water, and that helps absorb the flavor of the dressing, the Italian dressing. I just use a typical Italian dressing. And um, I pour it on while it's hot so it soaks it all up. And it breaks, it fastens up the marinating process. So by, what day is it, Monday? By Wednesday when we get veggies, it's going to be spectacular. So in here, I have cherry tomatoes cut, um, some Italian dressing, salt and pepper sea salt and pepper so we're gonna mix that and then we're gonna start building it in so yeah oh i'm so excited for this so the next thing i'm gonna add these are my carrots okay so my carrots they've been sitting in the dressing too they're still crunchy they're just blanched like I said, it speeds up the marinating process so fast. So now we got our carrots in there. All right. All right. Next, I'm going to add my baby corn. The baby corn, like I said, is not blanched. That's just straight from the can, but it does have the dressing on it. So then as I'm prepping other stuff, I have everything starting to marinate already because to me that just makes sense. It's just how my brain works. So now I got the little corns, which I love these baby corns. All right, next. And this concoction. So this is all blanched peppers. I'll show you. Okay, so we got peppers, collie or... <laughs> broccoli red onions cauliflower it's just oh I'm so excited for this salad I I love fruits and vegetables but this is my all-time favorite salad a nice marinated veggie salad yeah does that look awesome right all right because According to the schedule, we get uh, we have to, we get unlimited vegetables on day two, day three, or sorry, day two, day three, day five, um, day six, day seven. Yeah, so. <laughs> Basically, the only day we don't get the veggies is with the six bananas and skim milk. So to have a good batch of veggies like this done up, and trust me, this is a big bowl, It's we're going to eat it. And this is the best way to do it, where you kind of just put all the work in. Like, I've been doing this for about three hours, but the longer it sits, the better it tastes. And usually, you leave veggies in the fridge, and what happens, the longer it sits, the more it breaks down. The next one, again, that's pre-blanched, is some celery sitting in the Italian dressing. And that way, you just know every piece of your vegetable has flavor. That's right. Oh, this looks so delicious. Divine, I want it. Okay. So, doesn't that look awesome? So good. Then next, I'm going to add my mushrooms, which I've blanched. Okay. Add that in there, because mushrooms are awesome. That's why I said, it just, you get, you oh, so much, so much veggie intake. You know. It's a great snack. I would rather have this than popcorn and popcorn. It's just about having the right vegetables in the house. If you always have just carrots and celery and the typical, it gets a little boring, right? 
And then I got dishes. I haven't washed my dishes, so I just see this pile stacking up. Cucumber. Obviously, the cucumber is not blanched. I like the baby cucumbers. They're crunchy. I like them. So then we add that in there. Right? Oh, man. Oh, man. And the last thing I'm going to add to my marinated veggie salad, because I'm a texture eater. I love water chestnuts. So sliced water chestnuts. I just, they really don't have flavor. It's just a texture. It's a nice crunch. And I like it. So I get that in there. Mix it up. Right? And it's so hard not to eat a bowl of the, these beautiful vegetables right now. It's seriously hard. <laughs> so salt, pepper, Italian dressing. Um, I could add some white vinegar if I chose to. It helps break down the process. But I am a fan of my balsamic vinegar. So we're going to add balsamic. Instead. Like I buy it by the, I buy jugs of this stuff and I'm talking, how much is this? A five liter jug of balsamic. We go through a lot of balsamic in this house. There. And that will uh, be awesome. <laughs> So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to saran wrap this, let it sit on the counter for about a half an hour, let everything marry all the flavors, and then package it. And how I package mine, which sounds kind of funny, maybe not, maybe, I'm going to get the dishes out of the way. Is, uh... I have one of these, I have one of these Brita containers, see one of these things, and I fill it up with like carrot sticks or whatever else. It's my veggie Brita, so I don't use it for water, it, it just stores really well in the fridge. So I'm going to fill my veggies up into my Brita water container, and why I like that, that drain there is... If you want a little extra dressing, you can drain it out and put it on your salad. <laughs> I know. Brilliant. Anyway, so I'm going to do that off camera. So I don't need to do that now. And the next thing I want to show you is another thing I also did. Um, just because. So all the veggies that I made my salad with. I pre-blanched also in this concoction here, and this is all steamed, it's cooling off. I added the water chestnuts, all the veggies. And what this is, is gonna be our Asian frozen veg. So I'll portion this up into about six different portions. And that way we can have, you know, saute it up and have it with some, you know, and as with our fish maybe, a nice Asian veg. I'm going to add some ginger to this because I love ginger. And um, that'll be that. Oh, and one last thing, last but not least. I use cherry tomatoes in my... Oh, I see one that doesn't look very good. In the salad. But I, I bought a big container, so with the soup, part of the broth is cans of crushed tomatoes. So I just utilized, and this way I don't have to buy crushed tomatoes to make my broth next time. And I blanch that, and I'll throw it in the freezer, and then it'll be perfect for the soup broth. Well, part of it, right? So anyways... <laughs> I can't turn this around. Whatever's. 
Love you a lot. I hope that uh, maybe you've gotten some tips off this. If you want to make a marinated salad, pre-blanch your vegetables. You'll speed up the process so much faster. All right. Love you. The next video I'm going to come back and do is um, I was going to teach you guys how to prepare avocado and freeze them and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure you can figure that out. Peel the avocado, take the seed out, freeze it. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I'm peacing out, spreading the pea, peace and positivity. Shed your light, shed your love, and remember, we're all just one conscious mind, so we may not be all the same, we may not all get along, but we have to respect each other. All right, peace out. Love you. Bye.